Like many similar vehicles, this hypercar comes in a limited edition, boasting a formidable 1250 horsepower V8 engine. It accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in a mile 1.9 seconds. Everything seems commonplace so why do the designers claim that? It's the most technologically advanced hypercar in the world. It turns out that artificial intelligence took part in the development helping design. The components which were laser 3D printed. The result is a weight of only 1250 kilograms and a more economical use of materials a total of 80 technological models are planned in two versions one designed for track driving the other for regular road use with an estimated price tag of around two million dollars deliveries were originally scheduled to commence by the end of this The creators of this drone also make a cool presentation. This is not just another model with vertical takeoff and landing, but an aviation revolution let's check out some of its standout features. First, the drone is autonomous and suitable for both logistics and agriculture for example. It can carry 200 kilograms of cargo or spray six times more area in an hour compared to competing models. Secondly, the model is all electric which means zero CO2 emissions. Thirdly, they range on a single charge is 110 kilometers and the cruising speed is 150 kilometers per hour. The designers state that their mission is beyond aero logistics. They've already had some customers such as the Hellas Tool Aviation, a renowned Latin American company operating one of the largest helicopter fleets who plans to purchase 50 of these drones in one go. This beauty was built in Brazil, in addition to the 36 inches wheels. It grabs attention with its aircraft Rolls-Royce, Continental V6 engine boasting 300 horsepower. It was created by Tarso Marquez in the 90 seconds. He raced in Formula, one for minority and then switched to building custom bikes and cars. Things were not going well in racing, but he did well in custom cars. This bike has garnered several awards at different exhibitions meanwhile. This concept hasn't hit the road yet and is more of a tribute to the legendary motorcycle. The Honda CB160, its designer offers a modern version. With an electric motor a single charge will be enough for 257 kilometers. And, I'll be able to accelerate up to 170 kilometers per hour. I wonder if Honda's executives will consider this idea. At the beginning of 2023, the fundraising for the development of the space flight simulation game Star Citizen reached $550 million. The game is still in its alpha version, and the full release is scheduled for 2027. While the game is known more for the abundance of bugs, this doesn't prevent the developers to sell new spaceships one of them is already on your screen. It's a small fighter capable of taking on even larger ships. Its length is 16 meters and its maximum speed is 4,700 kilometers per hour. The price is $110. And if you just want to see what the spacecraft of the future might look like, you can find some beautiful concepts on Behance. An interesting story from the US. Since 1996 a local inventor has been developing something between an airplane a helicopter and a converter plane. The main feature is a fixed five blade propeller with a diameter of 2.4 meters. Underneath it is a shutter like system. It deflects the air to the sides allowing you to control the tilt of the hull. The vehicle is designed for two people and measures six meters long. It's powered by a Mazda car engine, boasting 450 horsepower. It's said to have a range of about 1,850 kilometers, and the top speed is around 280 kilometers per hour. The inventor had great plans including seeking investors, envisioning a six-seat model, and even considering a military unmanned version. 
However, there have been no recent updates on the project. Here we have another flying vehicle, this time from the UK experts believe that a transport revolution is inevitable and that these flying hypercars will help us switch to a three-dimensional lifestyle. Sales are scheduled to start in 2028, and here are some of their most notable features. A flight time of up to 90 minutes on a single charge. A cruising speed of 217 km per hour. A maximum altitude of 914 meters. And a capacity of up to 5 passengers depending on the version. The test flights in Dubai were successful. The hypercar flew at an altitude of 4 meters and accelerated to 40 km per hour in unmanned mode. By the way, the UAE plans to make about 30% of all transport unmanned by 2030, so the British chose a great place to try their creation.